In this video, we are going to look at how to use your student portal and your student portal will be used for three main things. The first one will be your class information and calendar. The second thing will be for any worksheets or materials that you will need for every lesson. And the third thing is for you to submit your homework or weekly worksheets. Okay, so um, let's get into it. So first of all, you will need to log in and when you log in, you'll be able to see this page. Now, if you're not sure how to log in, please watch my other video on how to log in and uh, I'll leave a link in the description box. So let's go with the first one, which is how to access your class information or details. So if you notice on the right hand side here on your homepage, there are upcoming events. So the upcoming events, you can see all the classes that are coming up with the dates and the time as well. So I've created a demo student here. So it's demo Amanda and she has a lesson on the 9th of December at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. So in order to access information to this, all you need to do is click on this arrow here. And this pops up. If you click on more, you'll be able to see the Zoom meeting link, the meeting ID and the passcode as well. So that's all you need to do. You just need to click here and you'll be able to go straight into the meeting link. The other way that you can do this is on the left hand side, there's a dashboard. You can just click on calendar and on calendar, you'll be able to see all the classes that you have. If there are no classes, then this will not appear. If let's say I'm just going to go into February, the first week of February, on the 3rd of, this, uh, of February, there's no lesson. So therefore, there's nothing there. If I want to access my Zoom meeting link again, same thing. All I need to do is click on the particular date and then I just click on that Zoom meeting link. It's the same one as what's in your homepage here. So that's the first part. Now for worksheets, your weekly worksheets, in order to access that, it's very simple. It's here under online resources. So you just need to click on this and you'll come to this page and you just need to click on your teacher's name and you will come to this page. Now on this page, there are two folders. The first one, I'm just gonna take a look at this one here, Thursday 4 p.m. weekly worksheet. So the folder, this folder is labeled, is named after your class and your day, the time, and also it states weekly worksheets and you can download your weekly worksheets here. So how you do that is click on the folder icon here, and you will see the worksheets that come up. And in the description, there will be the dates of the worksheets as well. So you will have to ensure that you download whatever worksheets are necessary for that particular lesson. And how to download is you just click on this three button here on the, on the left and click download. I would recommend that you download rather than you open the worksheets because then any notes that you make on your computer during the lesson itself, you can save it directly on your computer. So I would download these two worksheets like that. So that's your weekly worksheets. Now the next set of worksheets that you will need are your marked worksheets. There are three ways that you can have access to that. So first of all, I'm going to go back to my teacher's folder here and you can see this lesson notes attachments. I'm going to click this folder to open it. So this will be where um, when I have marked your work and I would have returned it to you, you will be able to find everything here. And all you need to do is just click same thing, click on these three dots here and download this worksheet and you'll be able to see that it's a marked worksheet there. That's one way that you can do it. The other way that you can do it is if you go to attendance and notes. So you'll be able to see this. So for example, this student has attended a lesson on the 25th of November. Um, present. Okay. The notes are here, the linked resource and so on. So you can click anywhere on this line. If I click that, you'll be able to see the lesson itself. You can see here's your marked summary worksheet and it is there. All you need to do is click on this download button. That's the second way. The third way is every time I return you your marked worksheet, the system actually sends you an automatic email and you will receive an email that looks something like this. So here are your lesson notes from this. Here's your marked writing practice and um, they will give you the PDF where you can straight away download it from your email. So there are three ways you can actually get your marked worksheets back. Let's go on to the third one. So the third one is submitting your homework. In order to submit your homework, all you need to do is go to your study log. I'm going to click on this and this page comes up. Now, in order to submit a worksheet, you have to click on add time and this comes up. Um, if you want, you can type out how long you spent on the, the, this particular homework. Maybe you spent an hour, so you can put it at 60 minutes. It's up to you. You can add a note here. So what I would suggest is put your class and then put your name and your class name. And um, of course, if let's say it's an expository comprehension, you can just put that there. And then all you need to do is add a file to this. Once you add a file, you just click save. Automatically, it will pop up. In I'm not going to do that right now, but um, it's pretty simple. Just click add a file and then click save. And then it will go straight into your study log like this. I have done an example here. This is what I did the previously. So if you click on that, you'll be able to see that um, I have uploaded this as a student. 
And so this document will come to me directly as your teacher and I'll be able to download it, mark it, and then return that to you. These are the three main things that you will need to use your student portal for. So um, please feel free to watch this video over again if you're not sure how to use the, the student portal or if there's something that you are still confused about, play around with it because obviously there are a few other things as well such as message history. So if there are any emails that I have sent to you before or SMSs, you will actually see it here as well. So play around with this and if you have any other questions, you can let me know as well. That's it. Thank you.